Although it is called the Delhi Sapphire, historical records suggest that it originated in Kanpur. The precious gem was stolen from the Indra Temple in Kanpur nearly 166 years ago. The year was 1857, when India was gripped by the famous Indian Rebellion, also known as the Sepoy Mutiny. The culprit behind the theft of this valuable blue sapphire was none other than a British Army officer named W. Ferris. After stealing the gem, he took it to England, and the legend of the blue sapphire game began. Peace and tranquility completely eluded from Ferris after the theft. From an economic standpoint, misfortune befell the Ferris family and their relatives. They faced a series of unfortunate events, including financial losses and hardships. Many family members fell ill during this period, and some of their British soldier acquaintances also met untimely ends. The blue sapphire remained hidden in their home, carrying an aura of bad luck. Ferris initially considered this period of adversity as a twist of fate. However, his attention was drawn to the gemstone he brought from India, which he believed was the cause of his misfortune. To test this theory, he lent the blue sapphire to a close friend for a few days, but tragically, the friend committed suicide soon after receiving the stone, deepening the mystery surrounding the gem's curse. Now, Ferris sold it in open market. However, the saga of the cursed gem didn't end there. In 1890, the blue sapphire found its way to the hands of the British writer and scientist, Edward Heron Allen. The curse struck him as well, leading to a series of unfortunate incidents in his life. Heron, too, lent the gem to a friend, and similar misfortunes followed. Eventually, Heron decided to dispose of the sapphire by immolate it into a river. But after a few months, someone retrieved the blue sapphire from the river and took it to a local jeweler. The gem was then returned to Heron's possession, once again enveloping his life in misfortune. Next, Heron gave it to another friend who was a musician. However, after possessing the gem, the musician had great difficulty to sing again. Desperate for a solution, Heron sought the help of occult practices to protect himself from the sapphire's curse. He placed the stone in seven boxes, intending to keep it sealed even after his death. He instructed acquaintances that the box should remain unopened even after his demise. However, after Heron's death, the box, along with the blue sapphire, sent to the Natural History Museum in 1944. And in 1972, it was finally opened. Inside the box, Heron had left a note advising that the stone should be thrown into the sea. However, this advice was not followed. Instead, the cursed blue sapphire from Conqueror's Indra Temple now shines in the display of the British Museum.